There's something about Eel Pie Island that goes deeper than just the music. I've had contact with people all over the world and we get the most lovely people visiting the museum. It's obviously someone that's really special to a lot of people. We get people that come here and they're like, oh, we met on Eel Pie Island. Um, and then we got married and we're still married. And yeah, that was like 50 years ago. My name's Don Crane. I'm from a band called The Downline Set. We started playing at Eel Pie Island at the end of 1963, once a month all through 1964. By the end of the year, unfortunately, they couldn't afford us anymore. It was always crowded, Eel Pie Island. I don't think there was any drugs or anything like that. People just went for a good evening out, you know, dancing, and dancing rock and, roll. and rock and roll. Michelle seemed determined to give the, the island the, the credit it deserved. And she started this campaign and got me involved in it. And Trevor Bayliss, the late famous inventor of the clockwork radio and various other gadgets, to get a permanent museum. We ended up going to the City Hall to try and get the mayor uh, to get involved in crowdfunding. And it was wonderful fun. Yeah, you used to have ferries that just take you across. And just there was no bridge. Or the bridge, yeah. And they had so a passport to access it, which I think yeah. this is what you're getting now when you sign up to come and visit the museum. And I, I think everybody around should come visit the museum. People often ask me, do I envy the stone, their success? No, because without them, none of the rest of us would have got a look in at all. The pop thing would have come and changed, but the R&B scene, with Cyril Davis and Alexis Corner. It would have just been a little offshoot of the jazz world. It's really nice that people can come here, feel that there's somewhere where they can go on a little trip down memory lane and they can share their memories with us as well. It really, really makes all the hard work worthwhile. It's just beautiful. We meet some really, really nice people here. The wonderful thing about the island is you have rich people there, you have relatively poor artists there, and whether they're rich or whether they're poor or anything in between, they all seem to get along really well. And if the rest of the world were like that, it'd be terrific. They're united in their sense of, we're from Empire Island, you know. Yeah, 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 Betty told Dupree. She wanted a diamond ring. Yeah. Betty told Dupree. She wanted a diamond ring.